guys. Okay, so these guys are at the boss fight. Awesome. So you guys will get to see the boss fight. Which basically, so you go through like four or five like shooting gallery type levels, and then you get to this encounter, which is almost like a I think like a wild boss fight, right? Where this guy goes through like phases, basically. So you can't really do too much to him unless you grab uh, the rocket launcher that spawns kind of randomly in the arena. So basically what you want to do is just kind of try to avoid taking damage as much as possible. And then he'll kind of go through an emote phase um, where the one of these pillars will rise up and you have to get behind the pillar to keep yourself from taking damage. And then as soon as that's done, uh, his weak spot will appear and you just kind of unload on it. Oh, so there's a pillar. So we got to get over here before these uh, beams cut across. So interestingly, the beams, last time I did this, the beams came from right to left. This time they're coming from left to right. So there is some sort of random element to things. So there, as you can see, the weak spot. Just try to deep that as much as possible. And then the encounter basically resets. You can kind of run around and try to find another rocket launcher uh, while he's in that undamageable mode. Uh, and then just kind of wait for this to wash rinse and repeat. I've only played this through on normal difficulty so far, I think. Um, so I'm not sure how much harder this encounter gets on the harder difficulties. It's not particularly challenging uh, at this level, but I could see how it could get crazy. You know, the more uh, the more you crank the difficulty up. Okay, so now the beams are coming from the other way. I wonder if this is maybe the difficulty above easy or normal, because uh, the encounter seems a little different uh, than I recall it being, although not not tremendously harder or anything. Screw you! All right, that, that went pretty well. All right, let's see if we can uh, manage to not get hit. Oh, he's almost dead. That's sweet. I wonder if somebody's been hitting him with the... I haven't been seeing the rocket launcher on the ground, which leads me to believe that somebody else has been getting to it uh, before I spotted it. Ooh, baby. Ah, particle lasers. Run! Run! Ooh, 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 I almost got a tan. <laughs> that would have been real bad. All right, scumbag. You're going down. Deeps. Deeps. Oh, out of ammo. I can't believe he's not... I think he might go through this sequence one more time and then he'll probably just die instantly when the next emote starts. Oh! Oh, rockets. Rockets. Bad. Very bad. I'm trying to stay kind of like away from my teammates so we don't cluster up here. Okay, okay. Let's go, let's go. Run for your lives! Run for your lives! Alright, let's jack this full. Oh, okay, he's actually got... is one of those two health bar deals. In fact, this this might be a harder difficulty because I think in the difficulty that I played on, he only had one health bar. Oh, oh, rockets. 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 Okay. Let's see. Let's see if the thing comes up on this side or not. Oh, nice. Right here. Oh, oh, what? Oh, that was, that was suboptimal. What? What the heck happened there? I don't even know. Whew. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say my last couple hits that I did there with the, put it over the edge to make me feel better about spending that one up to get back in. Um. So yeah, the one-up tokens, you just get those uh, from uh, trading in silver bullets or gold bullets or whatever. 
and uh, or you get them just from completing missions, like doing PvP matches and daily missions and stuff like that. I've been getting them pretty frequently. It seems like you get them almost as often as you would want them, based on how much PvE you're playing. It seems like every couple of PvE matches I play, I get a 1-up token, and that's about how frequently I end up having to use them when I'm playing. So. I don't know if they're the sort of thing you'd actually have to spend real-world money on. I think, like, they kind of just come your way through normal gameplay pretty easily. But it's kind of an interesting mechanic, right? Because it, it makes there a consequence for dying, but not such a huge consequence that it's, like, disheartening. So, you know, you definitely don't want to die. You definitely want to play carefully. Um... But at the same time, like, it's not the end of the world if you do go down. Oh boy! Oh, flames! Flames! The flame! This is definitely a slightly harder difficulty level than I recall. Oh, the flames. The horrible icky flames. Alright. Yeah, this must be the next difficulty up from normal, I think. Drag out! Yeah, I got that shield guy. Or at least part of him. Gotta hit his arm there, because the shield is impenetrable, basically. Alright, alright, okay. That was a little bit exciting. A little more than I was expecting there, but that's cool. That's cool. it happen. Swapping I uh, almost missed that reload. All you Half-Life fans will appreciate the elevator sequence, the obligatory they elevator sequence. Ah. Oh, no, you don't. You don't get to live. You don't get help from your buddies. Yep. Oh. Alright, actually, I want to switch to my rifle anyway. Oh, am I out of ammo on this thing? Oh, you know what? I never did get to, um... I never did get to go pick up that ammo box. <laughs> Thank you. For, I really appreciate that guy coming closer and making it easier for me to shoot him. That was very considerate of him. Enemy reinforcements inbound. All right. <laughs> There's something both disturbing and kind of satisfying about um, shooting those guys while they're crawling, looking for help. Like, it feels, like, really wrong and right at the same time. Let's take these guys out, make it a little easier for them to get to the elevator. There we go. Alright, let's get out of here. No time to wait. Get on the elevator. No time to wait. Get on the elevator. Alright, if you can be so insistent about it. Take that elevator back up to the causeway. Leave that chopper. He's on the way. No shortage of enemies here, that's for sure. Yeah, this is definitely a harder version of this mission than what I played the other day. Oh! <laughs> oh, that could have gone better. So I'm not sure, did I actually die there or did the cutscene save me? 
Okay, this is the last uh, area, as I recall, unless there's an additional part added for the um, for the harder difficulty. So it's kind of cool whenever you first come into this area, it's nighttime, and so you get this neat like day-night transition, which is kind of cool. All right, let me get up here onto some higher ground. Try and secure this for my teammates here. guys really really don't like me shooting at them oh I should probably move I should move I should really move oh man this we got this all right uh, let's see Oop. you you you're bad you're a bad person I, I have it on good authority that you are terrible and need to die Chances of hitting that sweet spot on these shield guys from that distance are pretty slim. It's here. Get to the chopper. Get to the chopper. Alright, let's do this. We can do this. Oh, oh, that sword would hurt a lot. That sword. Oh, oh, it's gonna hurt a lot. Nice. Feeling it. So that's pretty good. I wasn't last, and I joined pretty late in that, so... Feeling it. Feeling it. Okay, so that, that uh, cutscene did save me, or prevent me from dying there, because I only have one death credited in that, uh, in that encounter, so that's pretty cool. Nice silver bullet. There's a good chance I'll get that one up that I had to use replaced when I cash that in, so that's pretty nice. great. 